If you watched yesterday's review, you're probably asking yourself, why are you doing a tips and tricks video if you thought the game was ass cheeks? Don't get me wrong, the game is still dog water. However, I would like to help the players who are struggling through the game enjoy it a little more. After 40 hours of gameplay, I have reached level 40 and completed all main missions and side missions. So now I feel that I'm prepared to give you 10 tips and tricks that will guide you in your Gotham Knights playthrough. The very first thing that you want to master is perfect evasion, because doing so will allow you to perform a perfect attack that deals massive damage to your enemy. All you have to do is keep your eye on the white circle around the enemy's weapons. As soon as the circle becomes jagged, tap the dodge button, then immediately follow up with a light attack and send your enemy flying. Dodging can also be used as a animation cancel. It even does this in the middle of combos. This happens almost instantly. As long as you see it coming, you can dodge it. Now moving on to the second tip. It's a bit tricky to master, but if you manage to continuously perform timed strikes, it will allow you to increase your attack speed, gain more momentum, and deal more damage. To do this, you must tap the melee button before your previous attack connects to the enemy. If you do it right, your weapons will start to glow with each strike. Most of you already know what the third tip is, and that is to repeatedly scan because you can miss out on chests during main missions, side missions, and open world events. These chests contain gear, crafting materials, and blueprints, so please spam that scan button. Tip number four is to make sure to do criminal events. They are not there just to pad the story. There are two different types of criminal events. The first is opportunistic crimes. This is marked by a white triangle. Then there's premeditated crimes, which displays a red triangle. Premeditated crimes are more important because most challenges require them to unlock new moves for your character in addition to nice loot drops. You will notice each premeditated crime will have different types of activities and difficulties that will vary between each organization. So please pay attention on what the objectives are. When it comes to the difficulties, you will receive better loot the higher the crime is on the difficulty spectrum. Premeditated crimes on very hard difficulty will have a mini boss that has a chance to drop legendary loot after you defeat them. One way to find the premeditated crimes is to interrogate criminals found in opportunistic crimes. Please be sure to scan all enemies in the area. Also, make sure to get the enemy's health under halfway so you can grab them and start the interrogation process. The second way is to collect clues. These are red magnifying glasses that will drop after you defeat an enemy. The more you collect, the more premeditated crimes will spawn in the open world. Please be sure to keep an eye on the right side of the screen to see how many clues you accumulate. When you return to the Belfry Tower, the crimes will automatically upload. So the next time you step foot out into the open world, new premeditated crimes will be revealed to you. Now let's get to the fifth tip. Around level 10 to 13, you will unlock mod slots for your gear. This is a great way to get more damage, defense, and health added to your stats. I recommend using the fire element because its damage over time effect melts the enemies away. Frost element is also a good choice as well because it immobilizes and weakens the enemy's defenses so you can deal massive damage to your enemies. If you make your way to the mods tab, you will see that you can fuse mods together in order to create one with better stats. Just choose four mods, preferably ones with the same type and rarity, and fuse those bad boys together. By fusing all white, the rarity will turn them into a green, and the green will turn into a blue. Also, if you're fusing four mods and one is at a higher level than the others, do not fear, fusing them together will result in the newest mod obtaining the highest level. The sixth tip is to do the secret caches left by Batman. When traveling along the rooftops of Gotham, you will run into metal platforms. Activate the platforms by tapping the examine button and complete the mini race in time in order to unlock the location of the cache. I recommend to do this on level 30, then on level 40 on New Game Plus because the mods scale to your current level. Number seven is to making sure you do your bonus objectives. When doing main missions, side missions, or open world events, just be sure to pay attention to the top left corner of the screen. Completing these bonus objectives will give you more XP, loot, and crafting materials. The difficulty of these objectives will increase as you make your way through the game. Tip number eight is to use stealth. It makes things a whole lot easier when clearing areas. If you manage to get caught, that's less enemies you have to deal with. But if you want to disengage from the fight, Hold the grapple button in order to drop a smoke bomb. Doing so will break the enemy's line of sight as your character zip lines you into the shadows, putting you back in stealth. Another stealth tip I would like to add is to use the explosive objects around your environment. 
You can shoot spots near the objects to attract a group of enemies there, then boom, take multiple enemies out in one move. For the ninth tip, I advise you to check the challenges tab. If you're trying to unlock that next move or stuck trying to figure out what to do next, this tab contains all your main, side, and contact mission info so you can keep track of them, so use it. Last but not least, here's the final tip. Be sure to co-op and have fun with your friends. Me and my friend completed the entire game together, thus making the game more enjoyable. We discovered if one of you is on a higher level than the other, you can power level your character by joining the person with the highest levels session. This does not work with gear and mods, unfortunately. Also, another co-op tip, depending on the character you play with, you will receive buffs, healing abilities, and combo moves that require both players to execute. And that is it for today's video. If you like what you see, please be sure to give this video a like and also subscribe and let me know in the comment section some tips and tricks that I may have missed in this video. See you guys on the next one. Peace. My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the league, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the league can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. Why would Raish kill his next in line? None of this makes sense. I agree. It was an irrational whim. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased.